everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I have another variant of the micro screwdriver that I did a checkout on the other day. Let's go take a look at this guy. The case is smaller, you can see that. It's a wee bit smaller. I'm really curious, what did they change to make it smaller? Um, this right here is a whole different part number. It looks like it's a different format of a screwdriver. I don't know. It's it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. So the big secret is that one of these screwdrivers, I'm going to end up giving away. And I don't know which one yet. And I, I haven't even opened them up yet. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Okay, so right off the bat, I see that this guy is in the same type of case. Wow. So um, this one doesn't have the desktop charging stand. Um, that's why the case is smaller. I can see that. And this one is plastic wrapped, whereas the other one definitely was not. And uh, being plastic wrapped, it's a little tough to open up. Come on. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look and see what the difference is. Here, I might as well open this guy up so that you guys see what we're comparing it to. All right. So this is the Aeromax that I did the other day with the little stand. This is the new kit. And this kit here comes all in one case. How crazy is that? So um, here, let me pop this guy out and take a look and see what the screwdriver looks like with its bit in it. I'll use the extender bit. And this one, same pop type tray. Okay, I like that it's got a little window right here that gives me a little insight as to what's going on. Uh, let's see, okay, that solves one of the problems. So the screwdriver sits in the middle of the case. It just kind of pops in, snaps in. It's kind of neat. I dig that. And I'm not seeing a forward and back uh, button on this. This one has clearly got a forward and back. I wonder if this one is a um, a gyro based. You know, in other words, you turn it on and then you turn it and it starts spinning. I don't know. So the bits are also a wee little bit different. Wow. This one here is in there good, huh? There we go. So the 96 bit case has got a magnetic holder with a lot of double-sided bits, a whole bunch of bits. The downsides are that the driver itself has no space to hold itself inside the original kit. Uh, it, however, it does come with a um, precision driver, which, I mean, this is fully functional as a precision driver kit. You don't always need the motorized um, head, but that's, that's okay. So uh, the other thing that you'll notice is these ones here have longer necks on each of the drivers, which I really dig that because these ones here, there's not very much, if you can't access the fastener right away, if there's any sort of neck to get down, you know, into the fastener, you're not going to be able to get it. Let's go through it. I've got a couple triangle bits. I have a couple square bits. I have a 2.5 to really small. It's like what, a 0.8? 0.9 um, Allen. I've got some flat blades. I've got a what a pH one, pH zero, pH uh, double zero, pH triple zero. So a good selection of Phillips. I've got some security torques. I have some regular torques. They're they're really small. I got some security three-way screws, uh, triangle screws, and I have some pentalobes. I have a security bit. Uh, flat blade. I have what is this one? I have never seen this one before. This is like a cross point. It's a cross point. Um, never seen that before. It's almost like a Phillips without a point at all. And then my next one is a pin punch. It's, it's a regular punch. Okay, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, it all fits in the case nicely. I dig it. 
goes in here, snaps in, we're good. So let's go ahead and let's turn this driver on. Let's see, how does this guy even work? Okay, so it's got various modes, uh, which is one of the things I didn't talk about with this one, is that I believe this here sets the different modes. You can, you can set it. And I never played around with the modes. I never read the instruction manual. Why would I, right? So this one here, it has a little screen and you can see that it's clearly saying that it's for screwdrivers. Okay. We have the same four LEDs, which is such a neat feature on these screwdrivers. And you press the power button and it does have a gyro. And unlike the other gyro drivers that I have, this one here feels like it's all on or all off. Yeah. And you can see on the display, as I rotate the gyro, it tells you where, it's, oh, that's cool. You can see the screw going in. Let's go this way. Oh, you can see the screws going out. That's cool. I dig that. I like that little screen. Whoa, guys, I just realized that there is a auto sensing mode for the degree of rotation versus how fast this driver rotates. And wouldn't it help if I read the manual, okay? So it says if I press the button three times, oh, look at that, okay. So uh, it goes one, two, three, and auto. So we put it on auto mode. Yes, it works exactly how I thought it would. So uh, it does have some speed settings. One, two, three. Let's put it on four. Okay, it says that they're different gears, but I don't believe that they're different gears at all. I really don't see that's possible. Okay, so you have the most speed but it's also a torque setting. It's really just, um, I don't think it has anything to do whatsoever with uh, gears, almost definitely not. What it is, is it's a torque, yeah, okay. So the, it comes on step one, and step one is the most torquey. Oh yeah, that's actually got quite a bit of torque. One, two, three, and let's put it on auto. That's probably the mode that I would use it the most on Oh yeah. So the more you turn it, the, the faster it's going to go. That is how I would use one of these drivers. But anyway, it does have a mode setting. You just have to press power button three times, select what you want. I'm going to use either uh, st stage one or a for auto one or the other. Tell you what, let's go ahead. I've never opened this guy up before it's assembled at the factory. Let's go ahead and get that. Uh, what? 2.5. Ah, that's not it. It would be the pH one. Okay. Let's see how easy it is to remove fasteners from an electronic device that was installed at the factory. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, well, that's a little bit annoying if it meets very much resistance at all it stops I mean if you're doing something like phones or small electronics this is definitely the driver I'd want because you don't want to over torque anything but at the same time you want to have a little bit of grunt a little bit of power a lot of phones have a lot of tiny little screws in them yeah it's not even really trying too hard So as with all motorized screwdrivers, it's best to break the screw loose before you uh, really give it a hot supper. <laughs> okay, I've never pulled this apart before and I have to watch it because those look like some large batteries in there. Okay, well, I was gonna pull this guy apart and show you guys what's inside. This is my uh, VCC short circuit finder. 
and I've never opened it up. I've always wanted to see what's inside it. You can see it, it does have some pretty hefty batteries, but those buttons, those buttons right here are what's keeping it from sliding out. I'll have to solve that problem sometime. I don't, I don't really know how to open that up. And somebody asked me the other day about opening up to change out the batteries. So to open this guy up, what you'd have to do is heat up the end cap. Uh, these plastic ends are almost definitely glued in. And I don't know what size battery this guy takes because it would have to be tiny. It would have to be absolutely tiny, like um, a little lithium battery or something. Maybe, uh, maybe someday I'll take one of these guys apart and check it out. But anyway, guys, that is the Aeromax. It's a micro driver. If you are working on small electronics, something like telephones or um, just any portable electronical device, this is probably the driver that I would use. Seems like a pretty good, pretty good kit. Magnetic bit holder, fits all in. Look at that. I dig it. How oh, cool. That's the Aeromax. Anyway guys, hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up down below. I am trying to bring you guys more tool related videos because people have been asking me mainly for tool type videos and what might be a cool solution for their particular situation. And these guys here, they're actually really nice little drivers considering. I'm gonna figure out which one of these I'm gonna give away and we're gonna do a giveaway, probably this weekend. Let's do it. So look forward to that video coming very soon. Thanks for watching guys.